Hey guys, it's Mike White. This is just a really quick tip about white space. So I have an image of this cute little pig here and there's a lot of white space around the outside. And white space is what, you know, I'm talking about this space from the edge of the pig to the edge of the document. So I just uh, exported this as a PNG and if I open it up, you can see that it's got that white space around it. I mean, there's not much indicating that right here, but, um, you know, if I go look at this image, you know, I can right click and I can hit show more options. I'm on windows here and look at properties and details. And it says it's 1500 by 1500, but this space, uh, you know, where the pig actually is, is, is just this. Let's see how big this is in Photoshop. So it's about 796 by 600 and I'm not even all the way to the edges there. So if you have access to Photoshop and you want to trim it, the best thing to do is just hit image trim transparent pixels. And if it doesn't go right to the edge of your design, there might be some mess on your image that you need to, you know, uh, delete, but you should see that alpha check of background. So that's, you know, that's how you actually export it without white space. Okay. So we'll just do that real quick and we'll call it QPig uh, no space. All right. And then, you know, I'm going to show you how to deal with it, though. If you don't have Photoshop, you don't you know, feel confident doing something like that, but you have an image and it has white space. Um, we're just going to upload. Well, let's upload the one without space and see how that looks first. So you can see that it is literally filling that box, that image upload box. So, um, you know, that's what if it doesn't have space. So. Now, if it does, you're going to see that it's, it's in the middle. So it's showing you, you know, how much white space that's wasted space. So if you get a five by five, uh, printed of that, you know, you're only getting probably two or three inches of, of actual pig in the middle there. Um, so the, the way to fix that is just pop open the layout designer and you can upload right into the layout designer. Or since we already had something in our simple upload there, um, it was already, you know, it already knew that that was the project we wanted to work with. And then you can just size up the layer. So, you know, it's all transparent, um, or it needs to be, you know, if you, if you don't want that white box to print around it, if it's a JPEG, it's not going to work. But see, I'm just sizing that up uh, to accommodate, you know, the size of, of the image. And it's telling me, that my layer is 11.7 inches wide, but it's not because, you know, I, I'm only, I have all that white space. So I've just actually sized this up, you know, way past where you would ever normally do that uh, to accommodate for my white space. The best thing to do would be obviously to trim the white space. It just makes everybody's life easier. So that's it. Then you just, you know, save project and add to cart and away you go. So hope that helps.